What's good, YouTube? Man. Happy New Year. <laughs> to everybody. Happy fucking New Year to all of you people. Out in YouTube land. Ma'am, y'all, last night was a fiasco. Just a real, real fiasco. And I have a whole bunch of video that I'm probably going to edit sometime this weekend, something like that, so you guys can see. But, um, man, I lost my phone, but I called Sprint and said someone stole it so they can send me another one. <laughs> But I was pretty fucked up about that, but it didn't ruin my entire night. But yeah, I was pretty pissed off that I lost my phone. But um, yeah, I have tons of video for you guys and tons of just craziness, right? From off of Decatur and on Bourbon Street. But that is not why, that is not what this blog is about. As y'all can probably tell that I'm, I'm still a little, a little off-centered. <laughs> right now um man I, this is my hat that I bought yesterday I was was my hat <laughs> but no no this is this is what the blog is about right so I was heavily intoxicated last night right and my girlfriend was like you drunker than Cooter Brown now, I know y'all have heard that phrase, right? Drunker than Cooter Brown. So, today, right, we're sitting in our living room watching TV or whatever, and she's doing some work on the computer. And I'm re-looking I'm re at all of the videos that we shot last night. And, you know, I heard her say, you know, you're drunker than Cooter Brown, me and my best friend. Drunker than Cooter Brown. So, I posed the question, who the hell... It's cool to brown. And why do we equate being drunk with this person? Like, what did he do? You know what I'm saying? Or how drunk was he, in fact, that he has gone down in history of, I guess, in the South? Because I don't know if you people, you folks up north say drunken and cool to brown. But down here, cool to brown is like a legend in, like, the alcoholic realm. So... My girlfriend, my wonderful, beautiful girlfriend, <laughs> goes online and finds the story behind fucking Cooter Brown, right? So, I'm going to read it to you. I have, I have my computer right here. I'm going to read the shit, right? Because it blew me away when I, when I read the shit. So, now, when you drink or get intoxicated, I want you guys to remember this story and remember why we have become associated with being drunk as Cooter Brown, right? So check this out. Cooter Brown is a name used in metaphors and similes for drunkenness. We already know that, right? Mostly in the southern states. We already know that, right? <clears throat> Cooter Brown supposedly lived on the line which divided the North and South during the American Civil War, right? And it made him eligible for military draft by either side so he could have been drafted for nor the north or the south right now he had family on both sides of this division line whatever right so he didn't want to fight in the war this motherfucker decides to get drunk and stay drunk for the duration of the war so he would be drafted so he would be seen as useless for military purposes right and not be drafted and then it says inebriety i hope i said that word right y'all i'm a little fucked up um has been measured against kuda brown's extended <laughs> binge ever since and used in metaphors such as drunk as kuda brown or drunker than kuda brown then they give fucking examples hold on wait a minute wait a minute the examples are you're drunker than cooter brown let's go get drunker than cooter brown are you getting cootered tonight <laughs> no wait 
And then there's more. There's more. There's like a whole, here's some more little short definitions, right? Being extremely drunk. Being extremely old, right? Can be used to say something that is really bad. Can replace phrases like, that's fucked up. Y'all know I say that a lot, right? I'm going to start saying, that's cool to brown. No. <laughs> so, I mean, this shit was off the chain. Oh, it says it, it can also be described as a person who is all of the above. A fucked up old person. Ain't that some shit? A fucked up old drunk. <laughs> so, yeah, YouTube. I had to jump on my soapbox about fucking Cooter Brown. I had to throw that out there. I don't know if I'm going to make any New Year's Day blogs. But, um, yeah. I know. I don't know what the fuck we're doing later. But, um, yeah. We had a wonderful time last night. I hope you guys had a great New Year's. I hope everything was fantastic for you. Everything went well. Hope you guys made it back in one piece to your house. You know what I'm talking about. Happy fucking New Year. I'm going to post those, our New Year's on Decatur and Bourbon. As soon as I figure out how to edit this shit. Because I got a whole shitload of videos that are like 30 seconds, 40 seconds, a minute, two minutes. I need to figure out how to edit that shit and put it all together on one video for y'all to see. So, um, as soon as I figure it out, swear to God I'm going to post those videos. But other than that, peace out YouTube. Holla at me.